this. Ones, tens, hundreds, thousands. Now, let's look at some numbers. Numbers are also called digits. Let me write that down. Digits. digits. We call them digits when we have to identify them by the number of numerals. Let's make it simpler or let's call them places. I told you that every number has a place. Imagine they sit on their own chairs. Look at this number. Number 6. 6 is a single number, so it needs only one place. That means only one chair. If a number has just one chair, one place, then it's called a one-digit number. One-digit number. If there are two numbers, If we have a number like this, 1, 2, that means it needs two places. So a number with two places needs two chairs, so it's called a two-digit number. If there are three numbers, write it, 431. 431. Then they need three places, right? So a number with three, uh, three places needs three chairs. So we will call it a three digit number. Let me write a four digit number. Five thousand two hundred and thirty-four. There are four numbers, so it needs four chairs. So we will call it a four-digit number. So it's a four-digit number. Similarly, if there are five places in a number, it would be called as a five-digit number. If there are six places in a number, it would be called a six-digit number. And if there are seven places in a number, it would be called a seven-digit number. Right. Let's go over this one more time. Six has one number. So, six has one place. So, it's called a one-digit number. Twenty-five has two places. Hence, two-digit number. 431 has three places. So, it's called three-digit number. 5,234 has four places. One, two, three, four. So, it's called a four-digit number.